how to create a pop-up discount on Shopify 2023 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking in great depth and detail about Shopify and how you can use its amazing and great features to basically allow yourself to create a pop-up discount, you know, special prompt, okay? And it's going to be really simple and it's going to be really fun and easy to do this and make this. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end and listen to all the information that I have to provide you with. Because if you do that properly and you follow all of my steps till the end, then I guarantee you that fully till the end, we are going to fully learn together on how we are going to want to, you know, create a proper pop up and uh, just have a good general outlook on things okay so without further ado let's get straight into all the fun things so to start things off what we're going to do is obviously we're going to come to our basic shopify store okay this is as you can see our shopify store now obviously you're going to want to make sure that you're fully set it up with everything your account is fully uh locked in and everything is uh, as good to go okay and once you're over here, basically, you're going to go over to your online store just to, to get a general output of things, just to get a general look at how things are going on. And obviously, as you can see, I have products over here, but there's nothing like special pop up or anything going on. OK, and to enable that, you have to do a list of things for yourself. OK, now, what do I mean by a list of things is you're going to come here going to go over to online store. Now, once this loads up, basically what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to go over to your Shopify theme, you know, the theme that you have chosen. Now, the reason that we're going to go on your theme is because over there, we're going to be going over to customize. OK, and once you go into customize, you're going to want to do a bit of customization in your theme. Now, we're also going to make sure to add an app to our Shopify. OK. Now, the app that I'm talking about, let me tell you. So first of all, obviously, we're going to open uh, the customize section. Wait a second. There we go. Open link and new tab. There we go. Now, once you've opened this up, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to come here into the Shopify app store. You're going to click on apps over here and you're going to search for an app called Sumo. OK, we're going to write Sumo and we're going to search this up. OK, now. Mostly, uh, you're going to get Sumo, which is, uh, you know, your basic email pop up system. But if you don't get that, uh, you know, maybe it's not available in your region then you can use pop convert. OK, that's also a pretty good app. So we're going to go on pop convert. There we go. So it's, you know, basic pop ups and banners. So, yeah, there we go. This is it. So I'm going to click on this and we're going to click on add app. OK, and once you click on add app what's going to happen is um, we're going to be uh, loaded in to the main section of the Shopify store. And here we are now over here. You're just going to go ahead and click on install app. And once you click on the install app section, it's going to bring you here and uh, it's going to load us into the basic uh, dashboard of pop up convert. OK, now obviously once you're into pop convert, uh, first of all, we're going to make sure to create a template for the pop up. OK, the template of the pop up matters a lot because you need to make it look good and decent. So we're going to go over to templates and here, you know, it gives us the whole template showcase. So we're proud to introduce our new campaign templates, new design ideas, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, No worries. We got you covered and all and uh, pretty nice and basic stuff. Now, let's say I'm going to go with uh, this one. This one looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use template. And once you click on use template, what's going to happen is it's going to bring you here. So pop up convert. There you are. And that's how it's going to look like. So you can also remove the watermark for free if you want to. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. Now, obviously, once you have all of these things going on, you can change the images and the main title color. I'm going to keep the color schemes the same because they look pretty good. But uh, obviously, you can change the background image so i'm going to go overhead and upload i'm going to go on choose a local file let's say i'm going to make this my background okay so you do that click on done 
And as I stated, it's going to upload the file. There we go. Choose the file. Click on done. Just wait for it for a second. And uh, yeah, you can choose to keep that. You can choose to remove that. That's totally up on you. Then obviously there's different input and output buttons. There's a different hero layout. And obviously I'm going to remove that image because we don't want that. I'm going to go on upload. And obviously it's like we have a shirt store, right? We have a store for you know clothing and shirts so i'm gonna add this image to you know get a general output so once i have that i'm gonna click on done as so and uh once you do that you can choose a different image for your mobile phone as well uh, turn off the main styles and then there's your input output buttons which are these basically so choose your texts and everything you know there's your content with the images that you have so you're uh, let's say i'm gonna remove that that's obviously your logo that you're gonna set up for yourself which is again pretty useful thing to have for your store okay now moving on what you can do to add that and uh, just uh, make that much more effective and better is uh, just you know pick off a good logo that looks a bit decent so i'm gonna go over here and um, let's say i'm gonna choose that logo just you know as an example so you're gonna choose that and as you can see once you've like you know completed all these things once you're done with the general editing and general editorial things uh basically you're gonna go ahead and close this and you know you have uh, created a template so you know now you're gonna go ahead and click on create new pop-up so there's a pop-up i'm gonna go ahead and create and once you go ahead on create obviously we're gonna go ahead and choose from the template so we're gonna go on design and uh, you're going to start adding different designs uh, start adding different pages different conversions and once you do that you're going to save your campaign successfully and you're also going to do this so you have the join your vip club thing going on so these are obviously the pop-ups that so i'm going to make this active so now once this pop-up is active now we're going to go over to our online store and once you're in your online store and you're scrolling down obviously right now it's not loading up because we just saved it uh but you get the whole point of it like once you do all of this and you're gonna save it okay i've enabled the app i've done all of that you're gonna unlock the metrics if you want to and once all of that is done i'm gonna reload this page okay and once we do that let's go ahead and click on view your online store and uh, obviously like in a few minutes you say uh this will work and the special pop-up that we just created for a discount there we go as you can see it brings the pop-up right in front of us how cool is that so basically that is how you can create different pop-ups for your shopify in the easiest most simplest way possible and obviously for a discount you're going to do the same thing like uh, you're going to go over to pop-ups you're going to go over to this one and obviously change from subscribe now to new discount on clothes and stuff you know change the text in very easy and simple ways so yeah you get the general outlook of it so yeah, that's about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.